Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are all probably wondering at this point just what is going on here. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is King George L. Prescott, the King of Managers. And now allow me to explain the situation. Yes, I did lay down the challenge to KB Chronic, but if you all will remember, I never said that I was going to give him the beating of his life. I just told him to prepare for one. And well, I bet my father wishes he could get a bass that size to hit just like I did. <laughs> KB Chronic took the bait and now he is in a handicap elimination match against my masked saboteurs. KB Chronic, you dummy, you ignoramus, you tyrant, you thought you got the last laugh at Sunday's show. Well now, my mass saboteurs are about to take you out. And just like that, you can see the lack of sportsmanship that KB Chronic has, not a sport sportsmanlike bone in his body and now he's going to pay for it after that audacious attack before the bell rang that was before the bell rang I don't care what the timekeeper says but he is going to pay he thought KB Chronic thought he just thought he had everything well in hand he thought he could make a monkey out of me. He thought he could humiliate me when I was practicing my right to speak my mind. Well, now, KB Chronic, you'll be lucky if you walk out of this match at all. Not a technically sound move, to be sure. I'm not even sure that KB Chronic can spell the word technical. Knee to the midsection by my mass saboteur. That is, of course, mass saboteur number one. I don't know how anyone cannot tell these two men apart. It's as clear as night and day. Beautiful fist to the jaw there. That was actually a forearm, not a fist. Of course, we do not ever use closed fists or bend or break any of the rules. That was another forearm shot to the stomach. Quite an easy target to hit on a man like KB Chronic. And KB using another underhanded and cheap move. And now that may be the worst looking armbar I have ever seen. He was of course unable to get it cinched in. And a couple of open hand palm strikes got my mass saboteur number two right out. KB apparently forgot to do, forgot what to do in the middle of a suplex. Oh, now he remembers. And there you see Chronic paying, paying the price for attempting to use a closed fist. Cheetahs never prosper, KB. Cheetahs never prosper. Beautiful set out pile driver by the mass saboteur number two. And now looking possibly to make a tag. Oh, going outside the ring. And locking in a beautiful brain buster that landed on the patella. There is the tag and mass saboteur number one. Now is back in the ring. And we have things well in hand. Kick to the gut there from KB. KB, of course, only knows how to how to brawl, how to use fists, how to fight, which is great if you're in the middle of a bar, but of course we are not in a bar. We should be, we are, in the middle of a wrestling ring, and we should be wrestling. Something KB Chronic apparently does not know how to do. Now how a man who does not know about the sport of wrestling expects to run this organization is beyond me. And as you can see, my mass saboteurs certainly know how to wrestle, certainly know how to bring all of their strength and training to bear. 
And now he's just torturing the man. Just torturing the man, making KB Chronicle through everything that I went through against those psychos in bunny suits. There's the tag. And once again, forearm shot to the jaw. And down goes KB Chronic, who is looking quite pitiful at this point, if I do say so myself. There's the cover. There's one and two and and I believe that referee has forgotten how to count to three. Now where KB Chronic finds these referees, maybe he ought to look at the local kindergarten next time. I understand that kindergartners know how to count three, but these these morons he insists on hiring can't even count that far. And now that was and a throw over the top rope and in most reputable federations that would be a disqualification. Of course here in INCW these people here care nothing about the rules. And from time to time we have been forced to play that game but it's something that we tend not to do. KB Chronic idiotically going for a... Why would anyone go for a drop kick outside on the floor? And now KB Chronic is attempting to maim and injure one of his wrestlers by utilizing that DDT on the outside. And now, of course, he is going to pay the price for that as well. Chronic now running like a coward back into the ring. Look how he is running away from the mass saboteurs. And a cheap shot. An absolute cheap shot. And of course, we will not stand for it. The mass saboteurs clearly in control of this contest. KB Chronic can fight as much as he wants, but quite frankly, it will be an inevitable ending. And I don't know what kind of technique or know-how you would simply you would have to simply run at a fella. I think maybe none at all. What is he setting up for here? He's got a package pile driver, a move that has been banned in most states, and here he is seeing fit to use it. There is the cover, count of one, two, and of course, Mass Saboteur, number one, saw something that clearly KB Chronic was breaking the rules in that cover. He may have had a handful of tights. And uh, my honorable mass saboteurs, of course, broke up that pin and were not going to stand for a cheap victory or a cheap loss. Now, cutting off the ring once again, and they have got KB Chronic well in control. And here it comes. The sabotage pile driver, and I do believe, I do declare, that is going to be all for KB Chronic. Hook of the leg, count of two, and three, and there you have it. The mass saboteurs have taught KB Chronic a lesson. We will overthrow this tyrant if he continues to abuse his power. KB Chronic, let that be a lesson to you, sir. You keep your own power in check. And just grind in the foot into the gut of Chronic. What a beautiful sight indeed that is. KB Chronic with one of the very few offensive maneuvers he had the intelligence to pull off. And the most popular move in INCW and certainly the most devastating, the sabotage pile driver. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this match and your INCW Tag Team Champions, the Masked Saboteurs. Ha ha ha!